Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we got a really, really good look at all of Seer's abilities. They dropped a gameplay trailer for his, uh, his character and you know, we get to see his tactical, his passive and his ultimate all in action. And it's actually extremely exciting as to what he could do. Do we have like three teams here? I was gonna say, it's like, no, come me get one of these shields. You know, we're shield swap McGee. Another shield, there we go. I'm coming back. Get this out here. Here we go. Is there one more? Ah! Quick one of them. Oh, there we go. Starting off the day strong. See that right there? Perfect example. An aggressive scan goes a long way. And the things you could do with Bloodhound are just out of this world. So yeah, Seer is basically an aggressive version of Bloodhound. I mean, Seer's got some things that honestly, I think give him the upper hand, but then at the same time, Bloodhound also has extra bits of mobility that I think give them the upper hand. So it's kind of going to be take your pick. They're both going to be really, really viable legends, but more so now than ever, I think this scan meta especially in arenas is going to be extremely strong. You're probably going to find Seers and Bloodhounds on every single squad you encounter. I've been kind of saying it from the start. I feel like Seer is, you know, especially based on his tactical ability, a more skilled version of Bloodhound. It's almost what Bloodhound should have been since the launch of Apex. A lot of people argue that Bloodhound is just a little too easy to use. The scan is ginormous. You get them fairly quickly. And, you know, I mean, everybody everybody's detected you know where everybody is and it, it it lasts enough time so that the whole squad can kind of coordinate around it oh, hold up get a quick scan we know where everybody is so we know it's just one guy we know we could push it, it takes away a lot of game sense that you actually have to like play a lot to earn oh mama mia so like right now i'm able to like i basically know where everybody is there's there's one on the far end of the building one's outside fighting my teammate let's scan yeah so one's yeah one's right there okay so but the scan just makes everything so much more state like staple hold up oh baby it's a spitfire that is indeed a spitfire here we go Kill this girl quick. So they got two up. We're gonna have to make a little play here. Oh, what a knock! What a flipping knock! Get another scan. Got some needs here, maybe. Oh my god. Come inside. Do it. Do it! Oh! Let's go! The grenade, please! The grenade! <laughs> he just got straight up out IQ'd there. That was amazing. The double nade on the floor play. Wow. So I would say this is like the only area where Bloodhound, I think, excels Overseer is the ultimate. The ultimate is extremely powerful. You basically get consistent quick scans, which you can be able to pop every two seconds. And then you also get the insane, one of the fastest mobility tools in the entire game. So maybe that's what what's credited Bloodhound into such a high tier spot, the mobility mixed with the scans. But Seer's, Seer's ultimate ability is no slow either. I would have been able to throw down an orb that kind of bursts into a massive Loba boutique radius. And I'd be able to track the footsteps of everybody in it for as long as they're moving. What the heck am I looking at here? Look at this. I wanted to steal the kill. I'm not going to lie. I wanted that kill. <laughs> Speaking of which, though, Seer is going to play a little bit like Revenant 2. And that's where I think Seer's tactical has the upper hand over Bloodhound's tactical. Because obviously we get the scan here. You know, you know, everybody is that. But that's it. Whereas Seer, let's say you're pushing a third party, which is, you know, when you tend to pick up quite a few kills and kills in Apex. Um, we gotta go bow check. Let's let's take this. But there's no denying you do pick up a lot of kills during the third party in Apex. It's where people are weak, where you're ambushing, you catch them off guard, and 
you know it's just it's just easy kills but a lot of times people can you know somehow man if you're really good you can manage to recoup from those third parties you can hide get some quick heals off pop a phoenix pop a battery or whatnot but seer when he pops this tactical not only is it going to reveal where you know the people are inside of his radius which is more narrow than bloodhounds it's also going to cancel any functions that you're doing within it so let's say if you're popping a phoenix kit or a battery or a med kit and you're right at the edge of getting it off it's going to restart that process so now if the team pushes you only have 100 hp instead of 200 hp it's going to be kind of griefy it's almost like a mix between bloodhound crypto with seer's ultimate and then you know revenant with the tactical it's it's gonna be a mess oh whoa you got him third party big scans let's say this guy was healing he'd be done he'd be done absolutely done he'd have to rerun again like he's kind of already doing that i only got a bow check this could get ugly Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Pop this. We're gonna dip. Scan. There's a guy around the corner. It's just two of them. It's just two of them. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for the battery. Okay, I don't know where they went, but in that situation right there, I probably would have pushed if I was Seer. Because when I went to go pop my battery off, you could have almost guaranteed the 100 HP kill. Because say they did run off and they were in the middle of popping a battery. Once again, would have been canceled. It's almost like the perfect pushing ability. It's just the ability to cancel the ability to do basic game functions. I don't know. To be honest, I, I could see that maybe getting nerfed. I don't know if that will always be a part of Seer's kit. Um, but... We'll have to wait and see. You know, he's not even out yet. I'm not going to call him broken. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to go. We got to go, brother. No! I think we hop into an arena game. This is actually the reason why Seer is coming to Apex. He was inspired by the theatr theatricality of the arenas. It's That's a tough word to say, but... Um, yeah, he's, it's cool that they're tying Seer's lore into the arenas as well. I feel like most of the legends, like Gibraltar, Lifeline, all the OGs, they were all inspired um, by the Battle Royale segment of the game. Whereas now it's expanding. Oh, we got a we got a team on our hands, man. We got a team. One ability I didn't talk about, though, was Seer's passive ability. He's It's one of the first abilities we've... Oh, hold up. There we go. It's one of the first abilities we've seen in Apex that, like, kind of synergizes with the rest of a legends kit you know when you when it comes to aiming your tactical and where you want to actually scan people you can kind of like pre-test it out while aiming with your heartbeat sensor to detect where the people even are at first you come back to me i can res oh baby here we go oh man we're going for that revive He's really not going to push. <laughs> are you really not going to push? We got him. We got him. When you kind of think of all the legends that are in Apex right now and, you know, analyze their abilities and judge them based on their arena skill sets and then their battle royale skill sets, Seer is going to be probably a meta choice, if not the number one pick when it comes to arenas. Because you could imagine, like, imagine popping your ultimate in a fight, like, kind of at the top of here, and then you see where everybody is. Your entire team essentially has wall hacks. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't get better than that at all. Okay, we got one down. Let's go get this guy. Whoa. Octane. Oh, man. There we go. So yeah, not only will Seer be good in Battle Royale, but I think he's going to be even better here in the arena. So yeah, let's just finish up this game, try to get the dub. And once again, I just wanted to share all my thoughts and opinions on Seer and kind of break down in, in detail how I feel like he's going to play. They're, they're getting real aggressive for this last round. He said, we ain't messing around, bro. Oh, but you're one shot. You shouldn't have pushed so hard little one 
Oh, you too? Come on, Octane. Get your head in the game, boy. Oh, a bloodhound? No, that's you. Okay. All right, guys over there. Right over top. Hit him with a kick in the neck right there. Oh, yeah. One more. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, that was clean. That was that was real clean. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Seer down in the comments. Uh, more importantly, are you going to be maining him? He seems cool. Maybe he won't be as good as I'm saying he is, but I definitely think he's got potential. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you made it to the end, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like on the video, if you did like it, and uh, subscribe. If you guys want to see more, there's going to be lots coming. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.